Before we start configuring networks, let me explain what exactly it is that we are going to do. So as we have just seen on top of the network configuration, there is the public network. And what you will have on the public network is public IP address range, meaning that the IP addresses that are used in the public network should be accessible from the outside. The outside, of course, depends on what exactly you are doing. Uh, so the outside can be other nodes within a private uh, network environment or it can be the internet. So let's say 192.173.0.0 slash 24, uh, a registered internet IP address is the, the IP address that's being used on the public network. Now, as a tenant, you will create your own environment. So you'll create a router, and below the router, there is the private network. And this private network typically has an IP address range from the private uh, IP address range, like 192.168.66.0 24. These IP addresses are going to be uh, allocated to the instances. So every instance will get an IP address from the range that you have uh, defined for the DHCP server, like 192.168.66.51. And if you have another instance, it will have an IP address from the same range. And using these IP addresses, the instances will be able to communicate to one another. But how does it go if the instances need to go outside? Well, as we will see later, the Neutron uh, service plays an important role in that. But what I want you to understand right now is that uh, to be visible from the outside, the instance will get a floating IP address. A floating IP address is an IP address that exists on the ex external network. And it's a temporary IP address assignment for the instance. Like 193.173.0.10, for example. This is like an IP address uh, that the instance is going to lease. And once this IP address is uh, connected to the instance, this is what external users are going to use to access the instance. And that is kind of interesting, because as an external user, you are going to use an IP address. Uh, if you type the IPA command on the instance, you will never see this, this IP address. And that is because the router is doing network address translation. So the network address translation makes sure that the IP address that is used here is translated into the internal IP address. And when the packets uh, go outside from the instance, the internal IP address as a sender address is translated into the floating IP address. So it's a floating IP address that is making the instance visible on the network. And that is why you need to configure both of them uh, if you want your instance to be usable on the internet.